On this project, I draw the plan, I furnish the plan, I add details to the plan and the model, and on the treaty, I tried to make a condominium or an apartment building, and now I think it's time to draw a roof for the building. In this tutorial, I would like to explain the roof tool in ARCHICAD. Before drawing the roof for this project, I think I should explain the roof tool first. So let's learn, practice, and share. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Math Tutorial. The project I'm making the tutorials with is almost near to the end. I'm willing to draw a roof for the top and uh, I'm going to add another floor, which is the ground floor or the first floor, and then the building will be finished and I move on to other tools that we have in ARCHICAD. To start drawing the roof, first we should know how to work with the roof tool. So I'm going to the roof level. This is the building that I have here. If I turn on the trace reference, you'll see that this slab that I draw is uh, exactly as the size of the plan that I have. So I'm going to draw a, a rectangle with the slab tool like that. Then I should uh, select a roof tool. Here on the geometry method, we have two types of roofs in general. This one is just one single roof, which has the slope to only one side. And here we have a multiplane, which is a roof with a different side and different slope. For the first method, we can draw the roof with different geometry. On the second, we could draw just a simple rectangle, and then we can have um, a rotated rectangle. Then, like what we had for the walls or other elements in ARCHICAD, we have this structure, which I uh, usually use the normal way. And the material, I'm going to set it to the roof, but if you want, you can uh, select another material or even you can create one. So I'm going to keep it on this. Then we have floor plan and section, which is the two-dimensional settings for the lines, the colors, the cover fields. And uh, here we have different fields. And if you want, uh, you can make a new one. And if you don't know how to make a fill in ARCHICAD, click on the card right up here and watch that tutorial. If it was uh, interesting for you, don't forget to hit the like button on that video. So I'm moving on with the linked story. Uh, as you know, any elements that we draw in our CAD will be linked to a specific story or floor. Since we are on the uh, seventh floor, which I renamed it to roof, I'm going to select a home story as the current, which I selected. And then we could select the angle or the percent of the slope. It depends on which system do you use for drawing plans. You can use degree or percent. Another dimension that we could set for the roof is the distance from the floor. I mean, you can have a plan here and you can set the roof based on the floor height, but I want to dedicate a specific floor for the roof. So I'm going to put zero for the height of the roof to the floor plan. Then I can set a thickness for the roof, which I usually use 30 centimeter. Then we have eaves overhang, which is something like an offset from the line that you are drawing the roof to the outside of the building, which in so many countries, they create the roof a little bit bigger than the uh, plan or the walls. Then here we could set that if you want to see the uh, cover fields on the plan or not. Here, as I explained, we could set a different styles and the different uh, tiles for the roof. Also, we can uh, create a, a specific roof if you wish. Then we have the edge angle. If you want to have the eaves for the roof, you can choose this one. Or if you want to draw a wall around the roof, you can use this one. On specific situation, you can set the roof edge to the third option and set a degree for cutting the roof edge. 
I'm gonna put as the normal way. Then for the surface, you can turn on these three buttons and uh, you can apply a material for the top of the roof, for the side and under the roof. To understand better, I'm gonna draw a roof on this square. I'm gonna use the multiplane version because this one is very easy. First, you should draw the line to demonstrate where do you want to have the bottom of the roof. Then you can select that this roof goes upward on this side or on that side. So in this case, the roof going upwards on this side. And then when the cursor changed to the pencil, I can start to draw the roof like this. Let's take a look in the uh, 3D view. This is the slab, the uh, rectangular slab that I draw, and this is the roof that I just made. So I'm gonna select the roof. You can see the basic line that I draw. It's exactly on the zero of the plan, like I said here. As you see on these nodes, on these black nodes here, this is the original location of the roof. So I'm gonna set the roof edge to this type to understand better the situation. Then I can change and modify uh, this roof if I select this node right up here, I can move this node to another place. We can offset the roof. Then I could stretch the height like that. Uh, I'm going to put it back to the 30 centimeter that it was. The other option is changing the roof pitch or the angle. So in some cases, uh, we cannot guess the degree or percentage of the roof and we want to set it according to the model that we have. We can do it with this option. And for example, I think um, this slope is enough for the model that I'm making. Then I'm not going to worry about uh, the degree that uh, I should put here. I go back to uh, the plan view. I'm going to uh, delete this one and I'm going to draw a multiplane roof. To draw with this method, I suggest that you set it on the geometry method, which is the complex mode. Then you can set these numbers to any number that you want. Also, you can uh, set up the offset for the eaves. And then if you have a complicated plan or shape like this, it's better to hold down the space key on the keyboard. It demonstrates the shape of the roof that you are drawing. So I'm going to click once and then on the treaty, I'm going to see the roof with these numbers and degrees that I put in. So if you take a look at it, the ArchiCAD draw us a complete roof with just two clicks. So we don't need to draw all the plan that we have. For instance, we have a big projects and we want to create a roof, but with just two clicks and the, uh, holding down the space key, we could have a great a well-drawn roof. As before, if I select this roof, we can uh, change the uh, degree to any amount that we want. We could change the thickness and also we could change the roof edge. Also, we could change the eaves overhang. For example, here I'm going to put um, 1 meter and 20. And then, um, as you see, we have an overhang from the basic slab that uh, I have. The next thing that I want to explain is modifying the shape of the roof. So if I select any roof and then I click on these black nodes on the top, I'm going to have uh, the normal edit buttons like drag, rotate, mirror and multiply, which if you want to know how to work with the uh, multiply tool, I explain it uh, very well in this tutorial in the card right here. And if you learn something from that tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button on that. Then we have uh, three other options. And as you see the icon, you can stretch the, the horizontal ridge. You can uh, drag the horizontal ridge or you can uh, elevate the horizontal ridge, which works exactly like the degree that we have for the slope. 
So the first one, I can move this node to another place and then I can have a specific slope or shape for the roof. Then I can select this edge and then I can move this top line to another place. So I'm going back to the plan. I'm going to delete this uh, example. And here we have a strange shape to draw a roof for this project. I'm going to try to simplify this plan. If I turn off the trace, we see that here we have two small balconies. I'm going to select the slab. Then I'm going to offset only these edges to this level. So in general, we're going to have a more simplified area to draw the roof. Then I'm going to select the roof tool. I'm going to put it on the multiplane version. Then for the construction method, I'm going to select the complex because we have different angles and different lines. I'm going to set the degree to 30 degree. The thickness to the 30 and I'm going to keep the 80 centimeter of the eaves um, overhang for now and the end cut I'm going to use this type. So on this shape I'm going to hold down the space key on the keyboard and the, the ARCHICAD is going to show how this roof is going to look like on the selected area. I'm going to click once then going to the 3D view this is the roof that I drew for this plan. I'm going to remove the eaves for this one. So I'm going to put zero. Then the edges is completely like the walls. Then I'm going to consider that on this side of the building, we have another building. And uh, I don't want to have this slope comes to the other building. To fix this roof to the shape that I want, first I should simplify uh, this edge. If I want to edit this side of the roof, so I'm going to select this edge, then selecting the offset edge to this node, which is uh, the continuous of uh, this line. Then we have an extra line here. I can remove it by moving this point to one of these two points. Now we have a singular slope for this side. So I'm going to the 3D view. Then I'm going to select this node and I'm going to stretch it to this point that it shows. Then I'm going back to the plan and I'm going to add nodes to draw this part of the roof like this one node here one node here and i'm going to move that point to here then we have a little bit extra roof i'm going to select it and i'm going to offset the roof to this line also these ones the same right here and we have a modified roof according to the plan that we have. As you see, the edge of the roof is exactly like the plan or the building that we have. And now this building could uh, attach to the building next door. I would like to also do the same thing for uh, this side. I'm going to do um, this for no reason, just for aesthetics. And there you go. This is the roof that I want to have for this building, for this um, residential uh, apartment. And that's how you can work with the roof tool in ARCHICAD. So if you have some question about working with the roof tool, uh, write it down on the comments. And if you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to hit the like button. And if this is the first time that you're watching my tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. There will be many more tools that I want to 
talk about in ARCHICAD and uh, also I want to make tutorials about some other uh, architectural applications like uh, 3ds Max or V-Ray. On the next tutorial, I'm going to uh, draw walls on these triangles that you uh, see here and how we can draw the wall with the triangular shape on the top. And also we have another tool that I want to talk about in the next tutorial, which is trim elements to the roof. So don't miss my uh, next tutorial. Have a nice day, everyone. Bye-bye.